When it comes to the IT universe, there are quite a few buzzwords that make the rounds. Things like bandwidth utilization improvements, and in cybersecurity, threat hunting, and red team. And when it comes to software and application development, there's this topic of DevOps. I'm Chris Ward, an edutainer here at IT Pro TV, an ACI learning company. And in this video, we're gonna have a conversation on what is DevOps and how does this work in the world of ITIL? So first off, a little history lesson. Agile, the project management methodology, is in some ways what led to the challenges around and the need for DevOps. Because as development sped up and you gain the flexibility through the implementation of things like agile methodologies, well, operations wasn't keeping up. And with development working in a new and different way, conflicts began to emerge between developers and operations as the gap widened between their two methodologies and the different types of requirements. So around 2007, you had some thought leaders out there, people like Patrick Dubois, who began to first discuss and articulate that, hey, this is going on. And it was labeled by some the wall of confusion. In fact, this inspired others to also think through solutions to this problem on how we can break down that wall. In 2008, at the O'Reilly Velocity Conference, John Alspa and Paul Hammond from Flickr did this really cool presentation, a very infamous talk called 10 Plus Deploys Per Day, Dev and Ops Coordination at Flickr. They made the case that the only way to build, test, and deploy working software was to integrate your development and operations teams and increase transparency between the two. Now, this talk inspired Patrick to launch his own conference called DevOps Days. Now, by 2009, open source tool sets were built for DevOps and they began to emerge and it noticed something. They can actually work with configuration management tools, things like Puppet, to further automate the aspects of relationships between development and operations. And then in 2013, Gene Kim, Kevin Baer, and George Spafford published this novel called The Phoenix Project which was a fictionalized scenario that illustrated the need for and the benefits of DevOps. In 2018, uh, the large consulting group Pink Elephant introduced the first course on a market which actually addressed DevOps as a full stack, not just as a practice like continuous delivery or a continuous integration or not just a tool set, but this was, and this is what DevOps is, gang, a cultural, practical, and technological innovation that helps work together to be fully effective and impactful. So PeopleCert, which obviously offers the ITIL and other Axelos training materials, created a DevOps certification. And so today, we can see in our history here, DevOps is embraced by a wide range of enterprises from a variety of industries. Web pioneers like Amazon, to retail companies like Walmart, to financial services, healthcare, government, and much, much more. So all that to say, that's DevOps. But where does this fall into the world of ITIL? Well, there are seven guiding principles that are part of the service value system of ITIL. And one of them is collaborate and promote visibility. And part of that is this drive to bring down the walls or remove the silos that typically happen between departments in IT. Not only dev teams and operations, which is where DevOps comes from, but also what about the on-premises team and the cloud team, network operations, server infrastructure. As you can guess, this ties into the DevOps mentality and helps with things like lean, as well with the identification of waste and bottlenecks that can occur across the value streams. Promoting visibility brings these things into the light so that teams can be more effective and efficient. And there you have it, a bit of background on DevOps and how ITIL embraces this methodology in all its complexity. If you wanna learn more about ITIL, we offer the complete suite of ITIL courses and we're an accredited training organization with PeopleCert. So check us out and also anything we have on DevOps for you. Well, until next time, I'm Chris Ward. Thanks for watching IT Pro TV. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for even more fun and interesting tidbits about the world of IT.